Man, should win. Yeah. Things don't always go as planned. It's also part of the game. You know, it's small thing in life, but it makes me so happy. Yeah. <laughs> to just see the coffee go and make it, sit down, drink it. You know, it's pretty automatic, this machine, but I, when I just received the machine, I still didn't know how to use it. And then I go to one coffee shop in Bando, and I say to the guy, the barista, I say, come, come to my house and learn me how to make coffee. So I take him from his work hours to go to my house to teach me how to make this, uh, and put all the settings right, and I say, thank you. And then he go back to his uh, coffee shop. And then I know it, so maybe there's one hour. Enjoying the view a little bit. The sun is always on a good spot, so Bukabaju, just relax, copy. I'm a simple guy, man. I don't need nothing else. So, this is your routine? Kind of. Listen music, listen podcast. A little bit sun. I always do like this actually. <laughs> this is how I chill. <laughs> Free shape, bro. Huh? Free shape. Yeah. Uh, no, it's nice. I like calm. No one to disturb me. Just be with myself sometimes, thinking, you know. I saw that kid inside. So, I feel like it's good to show people this emotional side of you as well. Like, I'm grateful for that, you know. And it touched me at times that I'm also like, why? You know? I'm just walking and people go stop the car and jump on the motorbike, almost make accident. They just say hello, you know, like, crazy. But, I mean, only positivity, yeah? But I just want to share this positivity. Like, and I want to show them that I really appreciate it. And if I'm honest, I don't always feel like spending my time and energy with them because it's not always nice to, you just want your me time sometime when you drink a coffee or sit in a restaurant or whatever. But that doesn't take away that I still really appreciate it. And these moments like this, when you're alone, that, then you start to think more, you know. This is where the maturity maybe drops in to like, I'm getting older. I've seen many things now. The lifestyle became a little bit normal. Well, what is it actually? Who are you really, you know, like, despite from the, um, what people think and, you know, your, your success and your fame and your brand deals and your goals on the pitch. You're still a person, you know. And that person has emotions, that person has ups and downs, that person has difficulties sometimes. And I feel like, why can I not share that as well? I should not only highlight the positivity. I mean, I do it in a positive way, but I should not only highlight the successes, the success, the success. Because that's not motivational. People also want to see you down and then rise up. And then have success. And then it's like, wow. He also had struggles, you know? Go to the gym, do some stretches, some bicycle. Tomorrow is game day, so I was like to loose up my body into some flexibility work to feel loose, light for the game. If I don't work out, if I don't sleep well, if I don't eat good, I don't have self-confidence. I will not be as ready as I can be to to be on big performance. So, routine work is important, consistency. Consistency. I keep reminding myself, be consistent, be consistent, be consistent. You know, I need to be on top level. Every week, every day. What I say is not easy, but 
Las macheras actually. No sé si así. So what you do now? I'm just gonna speak with my mental coach. His name is Ruben. Just the mental journey, you know, like we have a way of living which we live by, but why you live this way, you know? And with him, we're trying to get on this call to find out the why in life. The why in life is the most important question for every person, you know? Why you do what you do? Why you love what you do? Or why you don't love what you do, you know? So this is what we speak about and then, you know, about football, about the game, you know? Prepare my game, prepare my mental health. To write it down, to speak about emotions, to speak about feelings, to guide me. So this is once a week we do this, mostly before the games. What I said, everything to be ready. Man. Everything to win! I'm always writing before the game to prepare mentally what I want to achieve in this game, putting my feelings into words and putting my targets clear, you know, subjective targets and objective. So what do I want to accomplish during a game? I want to create three chances. I want to have five interceptions. I want to have a 90% ball completion, pass completion. I don't want to commit any foul or yellow card. I want to have five completed dribbles. I think that these stats can result into a subjective goal, which can lead to a goal or an assist that we win the game and personal target to be man of the match. It's not the most important, but for me, I like this kind of challenge myself to, to be the best I can be. You know? to smash you guys that's why I, I needed a one week off <laughs> Indonesia is not really the place for walking but uh, I still like to just go out randomly walk get some fresh air listen to music especially on men's day I like to do it it's still Clear minds, enjoy, you know, enjoy nature. Think about the game a little bit. Feeling grateful for this day. That I can play, that I'm healthy. That I can do what I love to do. So, let's go walking. I still remember writing words down. Trying to get a ball out on the ground. Big boy, big boy now. A little football pitch there. I wake me on the end of the road. Sometimes when I'm walking, I see just kids playing, you know? Yeah. Without shoes. Just like a carton ball, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Plastic ball. And I'm just watching a little bit from outside that they cannot see me. I was just thinking, like, you know, like, how beautiful it is. This game of football that, you know, every kid since they've got born, they want to be a football player, you know? And they yeah. play without fear, they just joy, play on the street, 
they have nothing but they football just make them so happy even if it's not real football but in the end it's the same game you know yeah and then I realized oh tonight I'm gonna play in a big stadium with 20 30 thousand people you know people expect so much for me and then I see these children stay on the street without anyone watching them and they just have so much joy in doing the same game yeah. so this makes me so humble you know that when I'm on the pitch in the night and I think about these kids I'm like whatever man just enjoy because that's what it's all about you know I think we played uh, good, organization-wise, as a team, good structure, compact, we didn't give away so many chances, we created some chances, we didn't score, but I don't feel uh, satisfied, like not at all, I got substituted, which I don't like. So that's always a shit feeling. They also don't win. Not like expected what I wanted, what I wrote down, what I had in mind, you know. But that's life. That's life. Things don't always go as planned. So that's what I said is the It's also part of the game. It's part of the game. Yeah. On to the next one. Into the next one.